Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's the third video in the hair care regimen series. It's all about cleaning your hair and scalp. Cleansing your hair is so important. Get out a pen and paper and take some notes. We got a lot to discuss. The reason why I have to highlight this is because in the black community, we want our styles to last and not be bothered with our hair. This is a huge downfall in our hair care regimen. Hair and scalp requires regular cleaning. Now, I don't mean you constantly have to lather up. There are many ways to clean your hair and scalp. Scalp massage, board bristle brushes, and avoiding styling products, just to name a few ways. For me, keeping my scalp clean has been my biggest struggle my entire life. I have suborbed dermatitis, and I just got fed up last year with the harsh shampoo and drugs to keep my scalp clear with chemicals. My journey has been tough, y'all, so I'm just trying to share all what I've learned. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel, y'all know I'm allergic to everything. I can't use coconut oil. It makes my hair crunchy and dry, and it sets my scalp on fire. Some people can't fathom that coconut oil doesn't work for everyone, but it doesn't work for me, and I tried it for years. Contrary to what people have said in my videos, no, it's not drawing out toxins. No, it's not detoxing my scalp. It didn't get better for me when I just keep using it. It's giving me an allergic reaction. It would even take weeks to clear up. And yeah, just a word of advice. Stop using stuff that doesn't work for your hair. Don't listen to people that don't have to live with the consequences. It's not one size fits all. Be open to the idea that what works for everybody else may not work for you. And that's okay. You take bits and pieces of what you learn here on YouTube and you incorporate it into your hair care routine. I'm also allergic to shea butter. Here's how I found that out though. I was at a friend's house and their hand soap was super drying. I asked for lotion, but they told me they didn't have any and to just use their pure shea butter. So what did I do? I went, took a scoop of the shea butter, put it on my hands, and I rubbed it in like lotion. And y'all, it was instant. Um, there was burning, itching, a red rash, and hives. I mean, I couldn't believe it because shea butter is so wonderful for everybody else, just not for me. Um, but what it did do is it helped me to purge my hair products because I just didn't know that shea butter was an allergy for me. But um, this reality helped me to fill in the blanks as to why my scalp would stay tore up. Whew. So, okay, story time and background about my allergies is taken care of. But um, I'm also allergic to nuts of all kinds. And guess what's a nut oil? Argan oil is a nut oil I didn't even know. And so is tamanu oil. You have got to do your research and understand what you are putting into your body and onto your skin, your largest organ, and work in the cause and effect. After I used this product or that product, and it happened, you know, for so long, but learning my allergies and what ingredients are. So, even more, um, a lot of detergents are coconut derived. And so I found a blog that helped me figure out why I was having allergic reactions to every single shampoo I was using. So that brings me to the point where I'm like, okay, I can't wash my hair with shampoo. What am I going to do? How in the heck can I get through this? So back to researching again and figuring out how to get through yet another hair challenge. This is how I stumbled upon the water only hair washing method. But even that was met with challenges because I had yet to realize that the coconut derived ingredients trigger an allergic reaction for me. I mean, y'all, it has been such a long road, but I have resolved it and here's how I got it done. You have to wash your hair, okay? Water is the perfect hydrator for your hair, but water evaporates, so that is why we condition. But with the water only hair washing method, you have to go chemical free to keep your sebum coming down your strands. So my problem was if I can't wash my scalp, how do I keep it clean? 
and I use alternative cleansers. And right now, my favorite cleansers are raw manuka honey, apple cider vinegar, rasul clay, goat milk soap, and guys, my scalp is finally clear. I mean, this has been an 18 year long journey. So that's why I'm giving you detailed information I've earned, okay? I didn't learn this stuff. I earned this information over this journey so that you won't have to struggle like I did. Okay. So cleaning the scalp frees the follicles to do their thing. It helps to regulate sebum production and prevent dandruff. So why do they say go sulfate free? Because sulfates are doing too good a job of cleaning and stripping your hair of the natural oils being produced. This throws off the sebum production cycle and that leads your follicles to go into hyperdrive and produce way too much, which leads to greasy hair or your too clean hair turns into dry and brittle and messes up your scalp. And it really is one size fits all. And so because I have tortured my scalp for so long, y'all. So um, another part to keeping my scalp clear is realizing my food triggers. Um, and, you know, now that I know that, I know that I can no longer eat tomatoes, avocado, milk, ice cream, cinnamon, eggplants, spicy food, tuna, pork, but I still love bacon. Nuts of any kinds, but especially pistachios, cashews, macadamia nuts, coconut, and banana. And pumpkin. And eggplant. <laughs> so back to cleaning my hair. Um, making sections is a must. I don't agitate my uh, length of my hair. I just do my scalp and as needed. Um, or And I moisturize my hair as much as possible with a water spritz bottle. Um, and then the, bin, uh, the Russell Clay Cleanser, um, it really um, like detoxes the hair. It helps your curls to pop. Um, so what I had to learn is that it doesn't have to lather to clean, okay? And that's just fine. Um, my scalp is happy and flake-free and thriving like crazy. Um, so do you remember when I said I used to think that there was no place for sulfates? I was wrong. Um, if you're using synthetic chemicals in your hair care regimen, you have to clarify that. The easiest way is to just use a sulfate shampoo. These sulfate-free cleansers don't always have enough strength to remove the heavy ingredients. You can do a clay cleanser, but you don't have to stop using sulfates. That's what I'm trying to say. What's the point of not using sulfates if you're just going to turn around and use styling products filled with waxes and synthetic oils and chemicals? Your hair will become brittle, dry, and crunchy if you don't clean those products off your hair and scalp thoroughly. So use a sulfate cleanser, okay? Because you have to use the cleanser that's gonna get rid of the uh, buildup. So um, I made a video about how I make my Rasul Clay cleanser. Um, so I don't know if it's strong enough to remove synthetic ingredients, but um, with my hair care regimen the way it is, um, it's just really truly working for me. And um, cleaning your hair isn't just about washing it, it's also about the hydration water provides. Um, our sebaceous glands produce sebum, and sebum is the perfect hair conditioner. Removing this sebum with chemicals and not distributing these oils is where we get into problems. We have been programmed to believe that our hair needs to be squeaky clean and that we have to layer on tons and tons of products, but that just is not the truth. I haven't shampooed my hair with a commercial product and my hair is the cleanest it's ever been in my entire life. The sum total of everything I do for my hair is helping me to seek my terminal link. And I'm sharing my journey, so hopefully you will be inspired to join me. Um, I have been using the proper hair care tools, keeping it low, wearing low manipulation styles with low tension, no chemicals, and no heat. Next up in the series is hair treatments. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next video. And be sure to check out www.ferrisusegarden.com to look at the products that I use to support my healthy hair care regimen. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye. Stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be filming a video of how I actually use this clay cleanser to wash my hair.